You hire a mechanic to fix your car. The total bill is $680. $365 is listed for parts and the rest for labor. If labor is $45 per hour, how many hours of labor were you charged? And we're asked to do two things. We first want to write an equation that we can use to solve this question and let x equal the number of labor hours. Then we want to answer the question by solving the equation. It can sometimes be challenging to go from a word problem straight to an equation. So think for this problem, if we just use our reasoning skills, our problem solving skills to solve this, we can then come back and write the equation. So let's try this technique. Again, we want to use our reasoning skills to just solve this problem, and then we'll work backwards to find the equation. The total bill is $680, and of this amount, $365 is listed for parts. So if we take $680 and subtract $365, that would leave us with the total labor cost. And then knowing the labor cost, $45 per hour, we should be able to figure out how many hours we were charged. So for our first step, we're going to find the total labor cost by taking the total bill amount and subtracting the total parts amount. This will give us the total labor charge. So for this first step, we would have 680 minus 365. So we'd have to borrow from this 8 or change this to a 7, which would give us 10 ones. So now we have a 10 in the ones place value. 10 minus 5 is 5. 7 minus 6 is 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. So $315 is the total labor charge. And now for the second step, since it costs $45 per hour, we want to know how many 45s there are in 315, which means we'll have to divide 315 by 45. So our second step is to take the total labor charge and divide by the hourly rate for labor. And this will give us the number of labor hours. So again, this was the first step. And now for the second step, so we're going to have 315 divided by 45. Now this is not an easy question, but let's go ahead and try 7. And we'll multiply. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31, so that's good. Notice how our remainder is 0. Therefore, this tells us that we were charged 7 hours at $45 an hour. Now that we solved this using our reasoning skills, let's go back and see if we can write an equation. Using the same type of reasoning, we know our total bill is equal to $680. So we know 680 must equal the cost for the parts, which is 365, plus the total labor cost, which we know is $45 per hour. So if we let x equal the number of labor hours, this would be plus 45x. And now if we solve this equation for x, we know our answer should be 7. Let's go ahead and do that. So to isolate x on the right side of the equation, we first want to undo or get rid of the positive 365. So we'll subtract 365 from both sides of the equation. Remember this was our first step on the previous slide when using general problem solving. This difference here is 315. And then to solve for x, we divide both sides by 45, which again we already did on the previous slide. So we know this quotient here is equal to 7. Again, giving us the same answer, we were charged 7 hours of labor. This was kind of a long explanation for this problem, but hopefully first by solving it using our reasoning skills, it makes it much more clear as to why this equation here can be used to solve this problem.